plant trees for about six years now. I'm the operations manager, whatever that means. I also do the bookkeeping, I do HR, I manage volunteers and coordinate events. Why do you work at trees? Hey, good morning. How was your weekend? Uneventful. Yeah? Mine was pretty wonderful. Cat is a really positive person. My role at Trees is Development Director, which essentially means that I help to build relationships within the community, help to raise funds, and continue to create positive environmental change. We'll see if she lasts. I am so excited for our Monday morning motivational meeting. I have so excited to share this great entire group. I would love to see you out there. Oh, it's the foundation calling. One sec. Good morning, Trees. This is Katrina. Yes, how are you? Right, our executive director, Helen, did have to step down for personal reasons, but... Have a seat, Helen. Right, our, our board chair is gonna be acting as interim director. We're in very capable hands. Oh, we should have someone hired in the next few months, so... I see. That does not sound good. Yes. Thank you. So the foundation just called. They're gonna cancel the $100,000 grant that we have this year because they don't fund nonprofits in transition. Shit. Yeah. We need to talk to Tyler. Tyler, yes. As a successful businessman two and a half times over, I feel like it's not just a, a possibility for me to change the world, it's, it's a responsibility. My thoughts on this climate crisis is that we need to make some change now. And yeah, I'm small and insignificant and I'm like tiny compared to all these stars. Carbon pollution is killing the planet! Your van is killing the planet! I'm protesting the nonprofit trees. Nonprofits basically suck. They are still corporations in bed with the rich and they are actively suppressing real on the ground change. My third company uh, is, is currently going great. It's a uh, competitive high performance meditation app. You can see how you measure up to other high performers uh, in the world at any given time. We hope to make it an Olympic event in 2024. If you can't meditate everywhere, you shouldn't meditate anywhere. I mean, what are they actually doing to help address the climate crisis or social justice for that matter? What we need is an understanding of a Marxist dialectic and a paradigm shift. Wake up! I just spent some time in Guatemala teaching and I would say that they taught me more than and I taught them. So it may take a few months to raise $100,000, but I don't, don't have a few months, Katerina. If we don't have most of it raised or pledged by the next board meeting, we'll have to cut your position. I'm, I'm sorry, um, the next board meeting in three weeks? Yes, Katerina. And some of our underperforming programs will also have to go, such as Susan's little green fingers. What? So uh, My Little Green Thumbs is a great after-school program. This is our community garden. We've been at this for a couple years now, so it's really exciting to see. When I first started at Trees as an intern, I was in grad school, and part of my thesis was to actually start an after-school program uh, for kids to actually start gardening and learn how to make and produce their own food. This is Tabitha's plot. And as you can see, there's like a couple different uh, herbs that are happening right here and we're going to play around in the kitchen with them. So that's really exciting. And the kids have such an amazing time and their grades actually go up. So this is little Richie's project. He has a lot going on right here and we had to award him because he worked really hard on all this. So this is blue basil. I think this is arugula. This is some fava beans and this is a tomato. So this is really reflective of little Richie's head. There is so much growth here in the kids and the actual plants. They're literally bringing life to this earth. 
You can't you 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 can't do I can't, that. I, I can't keep our organization from being taken down by a fiscally irresponsible decision by my predecessor. Don't think of it as losing your hard work. Think of it as recycling it into something more useful. You're the heart of the organization, Susan. Suzanne. Cool. As a progressive leader, as a champion of feminism, Fox News once, uh, once called one of my companies one of the 100 worst places to work for men. Well, my helicopter is about to land, but I will be there in time for the development committee meeting tomorrow. Okay. God, is he always like that? A patronizing dick? Yeah. What was that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. Oh, oh, sorry, you're, you're breaking up. Bye, have a safe flight. How do you end a program like that? I mean, look at this space. What do we want? Climate justice! When do we want it? Now! I wanted to be on the Board of Trees because I had a calling from higher up, from God. There's something that needs to be done about this planet, and I think me and other environmental Christians are the only ones that are really hearing it right now in the Christian community and in the religious community in general. I'm the social media maven, so that's awesome. Um, I'm hazy, is what I'm known on the internet. I'm a Lincoln man. I have two vintage cars, and one's a 1976 Lincoln Mark IV, big boat of a car, beautiful. And the other one is a 1969 Lincoln Continental. Very mafia looking, very sharp. The ladies love it. Did you file the brief? I am the board development okay. committee chairperson. Well, make sure the judge signs it. I am on other boards as well. I'm on the Performing Arts Center board and the Gardens board. We've done some fabulous events. Some of the work we're doing at Trees is we're telling people about trees and we are getting people to love trees and we just, we really, are, we're pro-tree. I'd like to see a world where we don't need trees. Creation care is really taking care of the gift that God has given us. The earth was his first creation and he made this home for us. This is the only home that there is and that we'll ever know. Uh, and Creation Care is really taking care of this planet since we are its tenants. Yeah, this is my, this is my mermaid lady. You like? Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, I saw major logging trucks that would uh, exit the road that's adjacent to my grandparents' home. So from then to now, I've been kind of wondering what's really going on back there deep in the forest. My favorite thing about being on the trees board, the parties. Jerry is awesome when it comes to liquor. Oh yes, I do have a tiki bar, bull tiki. Okay everybody, let's get started. Yes, thank you Tyler, let's get started. As you can see, it's going towards the sun. They're so big! They're so tall! They're taller than me! 